Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Release. No matter how much I love someone, I have every right to say no. No matter how much I love someone, I have every right to say no. No matter how much I love someone, I have every right to say no. Go ahead and open your eyes. I mean, go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. <sighs> Hi, guys. What is up? My manifest. It's a day. Oh my God. Like, I'm not even ready. Okay, let's try it again. What is up? My manifesting mama sees and my miracle minded man. You are watching another episode of Be Me TV. If you are new to my channel, I am all things God spirituality, life advice, and also some really great tips on moving to LA since I have been here for four years. Excuse my phone. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, thank you. If you are returning, thank you so much for your love and support. Be sure to share, comment, and subscribe and get Beanie TV out to as many beautiful souls as possible. So today's video, we're gonna talk about the ability, the courage, the boldness that it takes to say no, even when you love someone, even if you are like you and that person are like this, like sometimes it can be a family member, sometimes it can be a really good friend, sometimes it could be your significant other, where you do not feel good when they ask you for something that you don't feel good about giving them. Whether that is your time, your energy, your body, your money, whatever it is, it's important to be able to listen to yourself. It is not easy saying no to loved ones because these are the people that have known you the longest. These are the people that like maybe know your deepest, darkest secrets. They, they know you, they've seen you in your best, they've seen you in your worst. And you know, loyalty is such a big thing amongst the uh, the human race, right? Like we wanna make sure we always get along. We wanna make sure that we're always like, um, uh, not too much outside of the box like we always want to make sure that there we're community we're a community driven species and that's all good you know and sometimes we have issues saying no because we don't want to be ostracized we don't want anyone to be mad at us we don't want to you we don't want anyone to feel bad but at what is what is that costing you if someone's asking you for something what is that costing you is that costing you time that you could be putting into something else? Is that costing you energy that you could be putting into something else? And it's not as if you don't have an abundance of time or money or energy. It's about, it can also be about breaking a pattern. Sometimes some, some people, they might love you, but they might take advantage of you. And they might take advantage of your kindness. They might take advantage of the fact that you do always say yes. And it's so important to understand that sometimes people are going to be upset when you say no. And that's not your problem. Don't even, you don't even have to defend yourself because you know who you are. You know you're an amazing person. You know you are wonderful. You know you've been for that person. Like you know that, that per like you've done amazing things for that person. And they get upset the one time that you say no, that's their issue. You know, because you know who you are, you know whose you are, and you know that them being upset at you, them being mad at you, doesn't block your blessings, doesn't stop your destiny, doesn't stop like awesome things for to happen for you, you know. And and you know, sometimes people get upset because they're used to think you they're used to you being a certain way. As you evolve, as you change, as you grow higher, you are going to confuse people and you're going to make people upset, but that has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. So have that boldness, have that courage. I know, I know, like I know, like I know it is scary to say no. And your, your voice is shaking. You're getting like armpit sweat. Like I know, I promise. But when you say no, and that person is like, oh, okay, you know, cool. Or if you say no, and that person's like, you suck, I hate you. Either way, you stood up for yourself. You put yourself first, and that is all you can ask for. And it's, 
you know, who we are becoming is in the little acts every day. You say you love yourself. You say you take care of yourself. You say that you are you are deserving of blessings and blah, blah, blah. It's in the little things that make those statements and affirmations true. So it's okay to say no even to the people that you love the most. And how they react has nothing to do with you. You know who you are. You know whose you are. You know what you've done for that person. So never do that fake thing where I'm like, I feel bad. That's not a real emotion. When people say I feel bad, no. You are... Or in my case, I feel like every time I would say I feel bad, so I'm going to do this thing. I feel bad, so I'm going to... Let me fix the camera. I feel bad, so I'm going to overcompensate because I want this person to like me. I don't want to be ostracized. I don't want people to not like me. That's what that means when you're saying I feel bad. That's what that actually means. It doesn't mean that you actually feel bad. You don't feel bad. You just want to make sure that people like you. But at the end of the day, honey, when you have done the beautiful work in yourself can't nobody tell you nothing and you're growing and you're evolving but we can't like i always say the real the big test not i but people always say the big test comes what like it's not about how often you meditate it's not about how often you pray it's not about how many times a day you do your affirmations it's about that moment that someone cuts you in line. It's about that moment that someone tries to take advantage of you. It's about that moment where that Uber driver is being a dick. Like, those are the moments where everything that you've been working on, everything that you've been working on behind closed doors is going to prove how far you've come and how far you need to go. So when you are able to say no, palms sweating, armpits shaking, crying, and you're still able to say no because you want to cut off that pattern, that boundary, and someone gets upset, like, that's not, it's such a great feeling to know that it's okay. It's okay to say no. It's okay for someone to get upset. And it's okay for that person to walk away or you to walk away or whatever, whatever. It's okay. Because you got you and you got God. And you are so deeply loved. You are so deeply loved and so deeply supported. So I know like I know like I know how hard it is to say no. To say no to new people in your life because you want to make, you know, you want to make new friends. You want to make, have a new lover, la la la. Boundaries are so important and we lose that as adults. I never put up boundaries. There were some things I'm just like a hard no, but there were so many things I let slide for so long. And now I'm just like, no, no. And sometimes it takes me a moment. I tell myself, okay, let me give myself a moment rather than doing something because I feel bad or doing something because of the ego or overthinking, I say to myself, I give myself a moment. I'm not in a fucking rush. I'm not in a rush to make a decision. If the other person is in a rush and, and, and needs my help, they can wait. They can wait. I take my time and I can hear the answer clearly and I can feel clearly. Not in a panic, not in eager, not in anxiety. So I just ask you guys, whatever is this like creating a constant um, pattern where you feel like you're being taken advantage of or you feel like this is too much, I can't do this anymore, this doesn't correlate with who I am, this does not serve my highest good, practice the art of saying no. And you can say it politely. No, unfortunately, I can't do that. No, I cannot do that for you because this, 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 this. Communicate. Be vulnerable. Let someone know why your no is your no. And yes, you know, like, earlier I said that you don't have to explain yourself. It's, it's not that you don't have to explain who you are. You don't have to, you don't have to explain who you are. You don't have to be like, well, I done this for you. I done that for you. It's not like that. You explain your no. You accept, you say, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that for you, with you, to you, 
because it doesn't feel good for me. It makes me feel triggered. It makes me feel this, this, that, and that. And again, how that person receives it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Do you know how freeing that is? It does not matter how they react because you know who you are you know what you've done and you know whose you are hunty you know you are deeply loved you know you are so cherished oh my goodness you are so top so cho chosa you are so cherished and um just know that practice the art of saying no and and build up those beautiful boundaries alex l um says you know there's a difference between barriers and boundaries so i'm here to tell you guys build those boundaries put them up because human beings like we are a fickle species okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are new to my channel leave me some comments below how you have been practicing the art of no if you are ready to take your self-love to the next level if you're ready to unearth if you are ready to just get to the gook of why you can't love yourself join my self-love e-course known as be love education by dming me on instagram it's only ten dollars and i love 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 my e-course i love the work that i do and i just want to share it with you guys so be sure to subscribe comment like share and i will see you guys next video